Hey everybody, this is the first painting day in my new jigsaw journal that I did videos for. Um, folded out of one full sheet of watercolor paper, I ended up with about a 7 by 9 inch journal. I'm using um, Color Art Magicals. No. Yeah, I'm using Color Art Primary Elements here. And the paper was wet for a while and allowed to get unshiny. I tapped some of the powder into the wet pigment and now I've sprayed it a little bit and I'm encouraging it to go wherever it wants to go. Now this is Fabriano 140 pound cold press paper and it has a nice texture that I like and if you leave it alone the pigment and water will find a path down through the paper, and that's what I mean by leaving it alone. Uh, sometimes that's very hard to do. In addition, the pigment will settle into the valleys in the texture and create really nice patterns. And that depends on the type of pigment it is, whether it goes into the valleys or stains the top. Now, if it goes into the valleys and leaves the top of the texture white, that creates some of the luminous glow that you find in watercolor. Alrighty, I've started a video using Magicals. Not Magicals. I'm so sorry. Let's start over. I have started a video using primary elements. I'm using a little bit of alcohol spray. This is 91% um, isopropyl alcohol and I've got it in a mini mister. And if I could get it pointed where I want it to go. I think I need to put some more in it, probably. Yeah, it's empty. And I was looking for my favorite little tool. And I can't find it. I'm wetting one of the twinkling H2O's. I need piffle. What has you done with it, Vicky? I need my Pipette. That's what I need. I need my pipette. I should have, should have, could have, would have cleaned off my I did sprinkle some salt. Alright, let's regroup here. Let's get some more alcohol in the sprayer. My pipette has rolled off. Crap. I put my put my thing in there upside down so now I can't get it out. Monday. Those are the broken ones. Why do we 
we have those around. I think I'm going to start, stop this and restart. Nah. Ooh, cool. Life and times of being an artist. And when I get back, my paper is going to be dry. And you don't want to use your palette knife because you will, trust me, you will bend the end of it. And then you're not going to be happy about that. So do as I do, not as I say. How about a pokey tool? There we go. Oh, voila. The little thingy comes out and the big end goes to the top. And then you can screw the lid on the bottle and we are back in business. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um... I'm already pretty much dry, but I'm just going to wet some areas, dip right into that, which isn't quite wet enough. This is Dreams Bloom. Now, if you this is my journal that I made. If you don't want it to float around on you so much, just put a clip on it. And you can rest something underneath it. But if I do that, then I'll lose my... You are mess around and lose this wet, but I want more wet. I want more color. Sorry. Okay. Now I've got plastic wrap, and I'm gonna scrunch it on those wet spots. Crunch it up, and I'll find something to hold this book level. Sometimes you want it tilted because you purposefully want runs, and sometimes you don't. 